this color here I know is 202020. So if I went in and I put in um, 2F, 2F, 2F and hit OK, you can see it's going to get a little bit a little bit change in the color there. And that's kind of what I wanted. So now my entire sidebar is using that color, but my text isn't. So I need my text on my entire page to change this text. I need this to change. And I need this text to change. I want all the text inside my sidebar besides my headings and all the text within my main content besides my headings and all the text within my footer to use one color. So the way we would do that is we'd go back to the body property of our website, which is pretty easy and right here. You can go to summary for the selection and <clears throat> the color for the text is saying black. Well, I want to change that color, so I'm going to go and change that to a lighter gray. And now all the text within this website is actually a gray color, and which would look nice, but it doesn't look good on a white background. Now, the body color of um, the body color of this website actually, let's see, let's get back over here so I can do it properly. The background color, see I clicked on, um, I didn't want to be clicking on my sidebar, I didn't want to be cl clicked on my, uh, I mean my header, or my sidebar, or my main content to uh, be able to change my entire body page color. So what I do is, is I click somewhere within that page to bring that property up. Usually along the edges works great. You can see here the background color we set to FFF, which is white. I want to set that color to be a little bit different. So I'm going to click on it, and it's going to give me the actual properties here. I'm going to put it in the trash can, and I'm going to add my own color here. So I'm going to hit background color choose my color picker, and I'm going to go to match it up a little bit, but maybe make it a little bit, a little bit lighter. So it's kind of matching this color a little bit. I could actually match that color. Well, what color was it? I click on the area and it's going to tell me that I use 2F, 2F, 2F. So over here, do I want to use 2F, 2F for the main body color? So click on the container area, and let's change this to 2F, 2F, 2F. And there we go. Now it all matches. Now we just have to worry about our footer. So we're going to click on the footer, and as we've done everywhere else, um, delete, or you could use the color, you could type in the color that you like here. You don't have to put it in the trash can, but I find it easier to do it that way. I could, uh, well that's not going to, that's going to let me type it in, so I'm going to trash that. I'm going to add background color, and I want this to actually be that color for my footer. And now, I'm going to go to File, Save, and now I'm going to preview in Firefox. That's the browser I use. I also check my websites in um, Internet Explorer and other different browsers. So you can see our website is, uh, i got to move this over, is pretty much coming along for us here. Um, it's looking pretty nice so far. The colors look nice. Um, let me bring this down so you can see our footer. Hold on. I'm going to zoom all this in so it fits. We want. We, remember, we have a fluid website, so look, watch our text. It will fit. So now look. <clears throat> it's looking pretty cool, isn't it? So let's say now we want to make some changes that we want our main content text here to be a little uh, stand out and not be white. And the same thing with our H2 heading. We want that to be changed up a little bit. And let's put our footer text into the center. So we're going to do that now. To do that, um, it's basically the same concept as it was for H3. Um, when I select the H1, which you can see, once I select this content, 
down in my properties window below, it's showing it's H1. And it's showing that it's actually using CCCC color. Um, I want this color to probably use another, um, maybe another green color. So I could actually pick up a color right from my uh, title. So let's see if that would work. That works pretty good. So my H2, um, I also want that to have the same color as my main content. And while I'm standing on the main content, you can see down in my properties that it already gave me the color. So it's nice that um, it gave me a, a style 2, which is great. So what I can do is I can use style 2 on this heading. I can highlight it, change it to style 2. And it works fine. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to set this style back to the header color. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to choose style 1 and you can see that it's using it. Now let's say I want to change the color of style 1. So I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to go up, choose the color text, and then I'm going to go choose a color from within my header. It didn't actually make any changes here, and that's another problem. Um, it, it's, it's, you could go and make a new style. So let me go back to the design area and choose a color that I like. All right, take note of the color by copying it. Now what I want to do is I can go to a new CSS rule. I could click on that and I could say that I want to make a new CSS rule for style one. Hit OK. and I could choose my color and paste it in and hit apply and hit OK. Now that actually style one has picked up the color of my preference. So I'm really showing you guys how to make some changes here. So now we want to put our footer into the center. So if you put your cursor in front of actual the word footer and go to the code view, you're going to see that the, the, uh, the paragraph footer is here and you're going to see that this layer ID is called footer. Can we go and can we add a property to that where we want to set the uh, position? Text align, center. What it's going to do here is put it into the center. You'll notice, hold on, Scroll up, locate the footer, the footer added a new text align code, it added a new property here to put it into the center, which is what we want. The footer area usually contains our copyright. Now, what if we didn't want this text to be so big? What could we do? Well, the text in the footer is using the font for the main part body at 100%. We could go into the footer, the text uh, paragraph here, and we can add a new property, font size, and we could choose that we want it to be at 80%. Now you can see it actually made it smaller. So I'm going to go and File, Save, and I'm going to hit Preview in Firefox. And now remember, Firefox and Internet Explorer may look a little bit different. There's little, little changes in between the two. I'm going to load this in, um, in Internet Explorer to show you. Just give it a moment. I'm emulating Internet Explorer within Firefox. And let's see. It looks pretty good to me. So if I hit back to put it back to the Firefox view, um, we, we might see a little bit of changes in the font style or something. 
but so far our website's looking